today we're out on the Severn, on the lower Severn, around Tewkesbury. I've got my good mate Ed with me, Ed Brown, and uh, we're going to do a bit of lure fishing, a bit of bait fishing, and hopefully a bit of catching. Well, what you can see here is, this is really good territory for predatory fish. You've got this up and down broken effect. And then just above the broken ground, you can see the fish here. Some of these will probably be prey fish, but I often find that when you get clusters like this, quite close to the bottom, they're either bream or zander. And it could be a, a shoal of zander there. So we'll investigate this area a little bit more carefully and rake it over with a few lures and see if we can catch one. Well, it's absolutely amazing, you know, we've been fishing since first light and catching very, very little. It was quiet for about half an hour and suddenly we've just got into a bit of a run of fish. Not long ago, Ed landed a zander, a small one, admittedly, just a little juvenile. And then I've just hooked a fish on this uh, shad wrap lure and I'm pretty sure this is a pike. It, it's coming up near the surface, which gives me a bit of optimism that it's a zander. Quite often they do plane up to the surface when you put the hook into them, but it's such a powerful fish that my money's on a, a small to medium sized pike. They're definitely more aggressive than the zander when they're pulling line. Probably won't be that big. They're real good scrappers, these River Seven fish, because they're fighting a flow, so they're very, very fit. Oh, now, this is a surprise. It's, um, it's neither a pike nor a zander. It's a bream. <laughs> <laughs> Hooked under the dorsal fin. <laughs> oh, well, cut. Very interesting. This pike here has already is obviously on the feed because in addition to my lure, which I've taken out now, look what's sticking up out of his throat. So he's obviously on the feed. Small roach. Oh well, it's that sort of behaviour that will make him into a big pike, so. We'll wish him well and put him on his way. Out you go, mate. Enjoy your dinner, old chap. We tend to fish um, a mixture of lures on the Severn. We do quite a lot of soft plastic jig fishing, but when we're drifting alongside the cover, like the trees, we pitch in quite a few plugs and just crank them down fast and then just slow down a bit. Just work the plugs out of the cover and quite often fish that are resting up there in the daytime will come out and grab them. It's a really, really effective tactic. Well, I've just stopped the boat because um, we've seen an amazing sight and I've never seen this before on the River Severn. And if we can't find this thing, you'll probably think that I'm on drugs or something, but I'm not. We've just seen a seal. Um, we're above Tewkesbury, so we're well, well up the river but we've just seen a grey seal and we're looking for it now. We're hoping it's going to pop up again. It surfaced up by the boat and it'll be nearby somewhere. They're quite curious. It'll be about five minutes probably before he pops up again. It's here on the banks of the Lower Severn where a colony of grey seals are actively hunting 
the pike and the zander that the Eastern Europeans and the cormorants have left behind. That and the force of the otters has made this difficult hunting grounds. But if there's one predator that can completely finish off this wonderful river, it's the grey seal. Magnum 45, it's the most powerful handgun in the world. A single shot, it can blow your head clean off. Do you feel lucky, Sammy? Or do you? Well, I'm into a fish at last. This has been quite possibly the, the worst day's fishing I've had on the lower seven for predatory fish. All I've had so far is a, a bream Foul hooked in the dorsal fin, it's been really tough. Done some bait fishing and different styles of lure fishing. And eventually, just as the light's starting to go, I've hooked a Xander, which is a bit of a relief really, considering the circumstances. Not the biggest Xander I've ever caught either, but this one is a very precious fish today. There you go, a River Seven Zander. One of my favourite fish. I don't know why really, they don't fight particularly hard Zander, but something very curious about them and a little bit mysterious. I think they're very pretty fish too. Well, we're still fishing. The light's dropped even more now and we're starting to get more bites. This feels like a decent fish, but if it's a zander, it's a good one, but it, it could be a pike. You never know until you try and bring them up, but it's got a bit of weight to it. If it's a pike, it'll go on a deep dive in a second when it sees the boat. I'm hoping it's a zander because it's a nice fish, this. Oh, it's a big zander. Well, I was hoping it was. Got the net there, Ed. Just give me the pan, mate. I don't need the handle, I don't think. I can probably chin it, actually. A beautiful fish. Oh yeah, that's a proper one. Woo -hoo -hoo. That's a real armful of zander there. Crikey. Whoa, what a fish that is. Well, that's the fish we came for. Really nice zander. Definitely a double figure fish. Not a massive double, but what a beautiful fish. And that's the thing, we've had a, a pretty poor day all round really. Made loads of excuses, but we've persevered into the low light. And these fish are specialists at feeding in low light. That's what we came for, a really nice fish. Fabulous. Mm -hmm.